It's our last day and we're on butt traps, otherwise known as butterfly traps. When we're in the forest, we're constantly looking out to see what other forms of wildlife are around. Of course, with the big mammals, it's very rare to see them, so we rely on footprints. Butterflies are a great indicator species for the forest here. Uh, their caterpillars tend to graze or eat certain plants, and bits of vegetation and trees. So by understanding what species of butterfly are in the crease reserve, it really uh, provides some good information as to how well the secondary forest is regenerating here. Of course there's a pretty significant link between the plants and trees here and every other animal. It's my turn now to try and get the butterfly out. Only thing is there's a lot of other insects inside, so here goes. Once we've got them out of the main trap, we put them into a plastic bag like this which is the start of the identification process. There's about 450 different species in the crease reserve, so uh, hopefully we'll find some new ones, which they do quite regularly. Once we've caught a butterfly, um, we mark it with a, a metallic marker pen, uh, just with a couple of dots, and this helps the team identify using a, a code system where it was caught, in what height of net or trap it was caught. We've just had lunch by the river and have completed the surveying of the nine traps that we set out to, to see today. We found three new butterflies, uh, which we couldn't identify in the field, so we're taking those back for further analysis, if you like. All this data is being used to produce what should be the most comprehensive butterfly guide uh, for this region of the Amazon, certainly the Manu Reserve. As uh, butterflies are such an important indicator species, I hope that the future work that takes place here indicates that the forest is in good health. I think we've finished just in time. There's a huge thunderstorm on its way. We can hear the rain. It's probably about half a kilometre away.